Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how easily you can create an object detection model with the help of TensorFlow Lite model maker. Any machine learning problem has a basic requirement that is a good data set. And particularly in the case of object detection, we need two things. First, images and second annotation for each image and annotation which contains the bounding box information and the class associated with that bounding box so for object detection we need to manually create bounding box across the objects in an image but there are many free data set providers one of them is kaggle and for particularly in the case of object detection and classification, there is one website called RoboFlow. This provides many free data sets to get started with object detection. There is some easy steps with which you can sign in into RoboFlow. I have already created an account with that. So I'll just simply sign in. Once you log in into RoboFlow, you can go to publicroboflow.com. Here you find object detection data set and classification data set. In this tutorial, we are going to work with object detection data set and in particular aquarium data set. You can click on it and you will find the information regarding the data set. It has like seven classes, fish, jellyfish, penguin, shark, puffin, stingray, and starfish. And there is link to download the images. When you click on it, it will ask for the type of format you want for the annotations. There are different annotation formats available. Since we are going to work with TensorFlow Lite model maker, we need Pascal VOC. There is also facility to get a link with an API key so that in any Jupyter notebook or Google Colab notebook, you can easily paste the link and download the data set. Since I am using my local computer, to demonstrate the process, I am going to choose download zip to computer and when I hit continue, it will ask me for login, okay, but I will provide the login as well. Yeah, and it will start downloading the file. Now the data set is downloaded into my local computer. I have kept the data set into a folder where I also want to write the code. A small note here, in this tutorial, I am not going to write code. I am just going to show the code which is already written by me. Don't worry about the code. The code shown in this video is available on my GitHub repository and the link for that is in the description of this video. Let me open this into Visual Studio Code. Before the development or before running the code, you need a virtual environment that has the packages required to run this code. I already have set the environment. So I will just activate the virtual en environment. This virtual environment will need, I'm sorry for this background noise. There is uh, wind rushing around my flat. In order to run this code, you need TensorFlow Lite model maker. And for testing purpose, you need PIL that is pillow. Accept this to 
uh, Python packages. We don't need a new Python package. Let me just choose the appropriate interpreter to get rid of the warnings. Okay, now we have no warning. Okay, now there are three, there are actually four files config py, helper functions py, test py, and a train py. Under config py, we have some basic configuration. So we don't run into any error that folder not found or path not found. You can choose the training validation and test set path here and model path as well. This result directory is needed when we test an image. On the other hand, model development side, we have three, four variables. One is model, which model to use. There are at this point, TensorFlow Light Model Maker for object detection supports efficient DNet, Light 0, Light 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this tutorial, I am going to use Light 0. The model name, I will give a name to my model. Model classes, you can go to the data set. And under the description, you will find the class name. Now, the last two things are epochs and batch size. Based on your data set, the amount of accuracy you want, you can choose appropriate number of epochs. And based on your hardware configuration, you can choose appropriate batch size. Now, train underscore model dot pi file. This file will first load the data, then create a model, then it will train the model, then evaluate the model on validation data and then export the model. The important thing here is data set path. Make sure the data set path are correct. Once they are correct and you are in the environment, you can run python train underscore model dot pi and it will train the models. So you can see the process has started since I don't have GPU on my machine, it will throw a lip CUDA are not found. There is also test dot pi file. With this file, we can test a particular image and get annotated output in a result directory. I will show that process as well. So you can see the training process has started. Now I'll stop the video and I'll rejoin you back once the training is completed. The process of training is complete and it will save the model trained model into this model directory still the code is running and one thing i liked about this uh, tf model maker library is that it shows very cool animation for this uh, training process and it has started as you can see it has started the uh, process to saving the model so let me come back once the model is saved. Okay, the model saving process has started and in now next few seconds, it will save the model into the model directory. Once the model is saved into this model directory, we will run this test.py file and we will you know generate annotated image from the input image so let's say let me first grab an image from the test section copy the relative path provide it here input image path and let me just open the image as well. So this is the image. Let's just uh, save this file 
and the process is almost finished for model saving once it completes I will run the test.py file it will generate two images into this result folder one is input image and second is output image so let's just wait for few more seconds sorry about the background noise there is huge wind kind of cyclone running around in my area okay the process is finished let me first clear the terminal now we will run the test.py file and let's see what happens okay so the result is generated this is the input image and this is the annotated image it says it uh, steam gray but it's I kind of uh, doubt it I'm not sure what's a it's a, I'm not sure what it is but it's not steam gray for sure but the output here is that you can use this code I have written to train any kind of uh, object detection model on your data set without writing any code what you need to do is provide the data set at the appropriate location and provide the location of that data set here and it will run the code you can modify a few things first model number of epoch batch size your classes uh, name of the model and under train dot model file you can further modify a few things like uh, there is also um, there is also facility to augment the images here so you can use that as well let's just uh, test one more file uh, let me get something which is more okay let's try this uh, let me copy the relative path go to test.py and let me save this let's okay the result is generated so this is the input image and this is the output image and I think it has identify penguin so kudos to that so this is it for this video and I hope you have gained some knowledge and it will help you if you face any issue running the code please uh, send your error in the comment section of this video if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching see you in the next video peace